everyone, this is Ritik Ohri from Management Bliss. Welcome to the Confluence Crash Course. The key takeaways of this course are, you will learn what is Confluence. You will learn how to effectively use Confluence. Thirdly and most importantly, you can start using Confluence straight after this course. Below in this video, you can find the navigation links in the table of contents which can direct you to your required section of the course. So let's get started with our agenda. In this crash course, we will be covering how to install Confluence, walkthrough of dashboard, creating spaces in Confluence, pages in Confluence, which will include creating pages, publishing pages, viewing page history, adding content to pages, making your pages favorite, adding labels to pages and sharing your pages. Next will be exporting the content, understanding and adding macros. We will also cover a special macros content by label. Templates. Within templates, we will include introduction to templates, how to use existing templates, how to create new templates and different types of templates. Next will be changing the look and feel of Confluence setup. Next we will cover easy and advanced searching in Confluence. How to create blog posts. We will also cover Jira integration with Confluence. Subtopics will be creating a link from Confluence for Jira, create a shortcut from Jira to Confluence page, create a shortcut from Confluence page to Jira board, creating bug list from Jira to Confluence page, creating Jira chart on Confluence page and creating a Jira issue from Confluence. So let's move ahead. Let's start with setting up Confluence on cloud. To set up Confluence on cloud, go to https www.atlassian.com slash software slash confluence. So we are onto this page. Now go to the pricing option. Here we can see different pricing options available to us by Confluence. And if we have a setup of less than 10 users, then we can use it for free. If we are more users or we have a bigger setup, then we can go for paid options. In paid options, apart from more users, we can get many other features as well. For all these details, you can look into all the description provided by Atlassian. Okay, I'm interested into a free one, so I will select the $01 and get started. It will ask you to enter your email or you can log in using Google. So I will continue with Google. We will wait as it builds the site for us. And there are a couple of questions asked by Confluence. So we can answer them. What's your role? Okay, I'm giving project manager next. So since you are creating the space, you can give the name of your space. Endless space. Next. Okay, now I can invite other team members here as here by adding their email addresses. So as of now, I'm skipping this and we can see that our confluence has been set up with our space set up as well, which is very much visible and it's an endless space. So what we can see here is the confluence dashboard and we are going to do a lot of things here and we can see that as of now it's showing a few things which are common in every project that is meeting notes. Similarly, there are other options as well. Okay. So here we can see the space settings like I can edit the sidebar. So I want to see an blog and I want to see overview as well. Okay. I'll change it and then go back. There are other things as well which we can change so we can make changes through different themes templates layouts etc and we can add different application links and rss feeds so few of these things we will be going through in our tutorial so let's get started by creating another space create one more space 
okay it shows me different options like do i want to create a blank space a knowledge base documentation space or a team space so based on our choice it will provide us with few templates already added to the space so since i will be working with the team i will add a team space okay team space team space for again we get only the default permissions because it's a free version create so bliss team space is also created for us now we can see that it has added few templates for us for example brainstorming and weekly meeting notes let's see i want to just go ahead and view it so it has provided us a nice template where i can add different notes okay so with that what spaces are in confluence spaces are nothing but confluence's way of organizing the content we can create team spaces project spaces personal spaces as well since we have created our space let's move ahead and start creating pages To create a page, click the create icon here. Give an appropriate title. Since I'm creating release notes, I will give release notes 1.2. I'll start with heading 1. Release notes for new release. Let's move ahead and add heading 2. I want to give some generic information here. Where I want to mention the release name. Release release description and deployment date let's say i would like to give all of them a nice different color and make them bold as well just like any rich text editor you have all the different tools to make your text bold italic change the colors change the alignment add bullets and much much more let's go ahead and make the changes i've selected all of them because i want to have all of them in the same color let's select the color okay now i'm adding other details i'm adding heading again because i want to mention all the different features within this release for that i need a table to add a table here we can see this table icon on clicking this it automatically adds the table for us let's say i want to add some more columns for that select the column and click this plus icon let's say i would also like to add the links of other pages here i can change the size of the columns by simply dragging the lines here and there I can also expand this table through this go wide icon. We can very easily add list of notes here through the bullet list. Now I would like to add a link here. Simply go to the link icon on the top, click it and it will show you all the different pages available for which you can add the link. Okay, we can also change the look and feel of this table. Click on the table options. Let's say I want to add a numbered column as well simply select the numbered column option here if you want to remove any column from here just select that particular column and click the cross icon similarly if you want to delete a particular row simply select that row and click the cross icon now let's say i want to change the header column for this table click the drop down icon available here which says cell option select click it and it shows a nice palette from where you can select the colors okay i would like to have it in dark teal color now i would like to add some more details now let's say you would like to have a header column as well now simply go to the table option and select header column it will make first column as your header column now i realize that i need to add one more column here click this plus icon on the last column and yes where i would like to mention the changes made similarly we can keep on adding more and more details now quite a good amount of details we have added here i would like to publish this page so i can go ahead and simply click this publish button okay so the page has been created for us 
as we can see that page is available now as release notes 1.2 now i want to edit this page click this edit icon over here and simply make the changes publishing it once again makes another version available for this page now i would like to see all the different versions since i want to know what all changes were made on this page since the page was created click on these three dots select page history here we can see that two versions have been made for this now i would like to compare these two versions to know the differences select the versions and compare the selected versions well it tells me that in the latest version the database name was changed from db1 to db2 to go back to the page click the view page okay so far so good now i would like to make this page as my favorite page simply select the star icon and it has been starred now now when i go to the pages here it gives me an option to have only the starred pages available to me let's say now i can see only the pages which have been starred that is my favorite pages okay we'll go back to this page and again i will edit it because now i would like to add some labels to this page well before adding labels let's know what are labels labels are nothing but simple tags that we would like to attach or associate our pages with so that they can be categorized easily and we can identify or bookmark or search them with no difficulty to add the label go to the end of the page and on the right hand side you can select this small icon add labels click here and we can add a label here let's say i want to add it as releases if the label is not already available it will say to create the releases okay it has been created for us let's say if you already have a label then it will show you different options release notes is already available okay i want to give this label as well to my page select it and it has been given we can add as many labels as we want to our page also there are two types of labels global labels and personal labels the labels which we added right now releases are global labels that is they are available for everyone for personal labels you can simply type my colon add any label of your own it's my label for example and this label is available only for you now as we can see all these labels have been added to my page confluence gives an option to share with people and groups within the team to share it click share and here enter the name of the person or the group name or the team name and send him the link for that page apart from that we can also share it to other apps confluence gives an option for you and your team members to export the content to different formats let's say i want to export it i can export it to word and pdf formats let's try with exporting to pdf and it's done now download this pdf to your system click download pdf link and let's see well pdf has been created for my page let's go back to our page now before moving ahead and adding more content to our page let us discuss what are macros well macros are some powerful tools provided by confluence to increase the functional capabilities of your confluence pages by adding macros to your pages an opportunity is given to the confluence pages to extend themselves with vivid parameters one such example is you can add table of contents to your page using macros let's try adding some macros on your already created page macros can be added from this insert drop down icon and as we can see it shows us different options to add a lot of things to our page we can add statuses we can add jira roadmap we can add table of contents a lot of things let's say i would like to add a customer readiness status select the macros go to the status with that i would also like to add a warning message here again that can be added through the macros select few more and it will give you all the different options which you can add to your page 
I want to add a warning panel. Okay, insert it. Similarly, you can explore all the different options available here. Okay, now you can also add the attachments from this files and images icon over here. Let's say I would like to attach a PPT. Okay, it has been added so easily. Apart from that, I would like to attach other documents as well. Okay. Similarly, different other content can be easily added like videos, images and other things. Now publish it and the new version has been published for this page. Again, go to the page history and we can see another version available for us. I would again like to go and export it, download the PDF and as we can see, the links have been intacted here. Apart from that, if you want to add any attachment which is from the files already available on Confluence, simply click the insert icon and select. Okay, it's an office word. So it has been added now. Now let's go ahead and publish it. Okay, as we can see that this document has been uploaded and we can view it from the page itself. Now that we know what macros are, let us take some time and see one more thing which can be useful for us. Now I would like to add a list of all the documents which have a particular label associated with them. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. Again click the insert drop down, select content by label. Content by label macros will help you to have a list of pages with a particular label. Okay, insert it. Add the label. So, I want to have a list of all the documents which have a module underscore doc label associated with them. Okay, save. And, yep, as we can see that I am able to get list of all these documents which have a module doc label associated with them. Okay, publishing it once again gives us an opportunity to publish a new version of this page. Now that we have seen a lot of things, let's see how to do comments on your page. There is also an opportunity to add comments which you or other users who want to add some comments to your page can add it. For example, go to the end of the page. I'm going to add some comments here. Again, this provides a toolbar where we can add different uh, options to create our rich content. Okay, let me add something. And I want to make them as red. So add this red color and bold. Okay, save it. And similarly, others can also add the comments to your pages. With that, let's move on and see another important and useful feature that is templates and how to create your own template. Well, the literal meaning of template is a form or a guide or a pattern to help us make something. In Confluence, templates mean that when you want to create a page, you need not create it from scratch. Confluence provides us with a certain patterns which gives us an idea on the content which we want to add so that we can save our time creating the content rather than formatting the content. That is, base your pages with already provided content from Confluence. Confluence provides plenty of templates to us. For example, template on brainstorming discussion, template for retrospectives, template for minutes of meetings, templates for design decisions and whatnot. For demonstration purposes, I will be using meeting notes template. Okay, so let's get started. To view all the different templates, go to this templates option available on the top, click it. As soon as the page opens, it shows us so many different templates available for us and they have been categorized very well as well. For example, if I want to see the templates related to business strategy, I can click on the business strategy. For designing, different templates are available. For human resources, other templates are available. For example, hiring process, interview feedback. For marketing and sales, we have different templates and so on. So there are lots and lots of options. 
for now i would like to search a template related to meeting notes okay i want to use this template to create the notes of a meeting we had today <clears throat> use it okay it is pre-filled with the date and with the participant member who has created the template here we can add other members as well let's say i want to add samantha i can give the email id of samantha here goals and the goal of the meeting let's say we had the meeting at 12 i want to add some items here you can keep on adding let's say there are certain action items that need to be closed then we can add those we can also include additional items for example i would like to include status here status is not started does read and if i don't want any Thing which is there in the template I can very well go and remove it just delete it and yes we are done I can also change the name now I am all set to publish these meeting notes okay publish it and as soon as we have published it it has created first version of our minutes of meeting available for everyone apart from using the templates which are already available by confluence we can also go and create our own template that my team can use easily so let's go ahead and create some templates to create the templates on the right hand side click on the settings wheel and here select global templates and blueprints add a global page template well there are two types of templates one is global template and one is space template for now we are creating global template global templates are those templates which are available for all the spaces while space templates are the templates which are available for a particular space only okay so now i want to create a knowledge sharing template for my team let's start by putting a title now i would like to add date which can be filled later whoever is using this template trainer's name trainee's name let us add a table here as well which will let everyone know the details about the training going on okay i would I'd like to add one more column where we can add the links to all the documentation in the end i would also like to add an expandable section which will tell other important information which any trainer wants to share about the training so i will be using a macros here and there is an option to insert an expandable section i will add it additional notes and here easily we can add any additional information that is all i want to have in this template let's save it now the name of my template is knowledge sharing template let's see whether this template has been added to our templates list or not for that go to the template section from the top search for template and yes it is there let's try and use it i would like to give it a title training for betty Trainee's name links to the documentation let's publish it and yes it has been created since i have not selected any particular space it has added me to this management list space but if we create a template from another space any particular space the document will be created within that space next we can see how we can change the look and feel of our confluence setup again to change the look and feel select settings wheel on the top right corner of confluence side here a lot of options are there provided by confluence to change the look and feel for example we can change the themes color scheme we can change things related to pdf exports we can change site logo and fev icon 
we can add headers and footers and other things. Let's start with changing the site logo and fab icon. Okay, site title I want to give management bliss. Okay. I have provided a screenshot of my logo and I want to see logo and title. I will save it. Okay. I want to change my fab icon as well. And yes, I can upload it. And Confluence lets us know that your fab icon has been uploaded successfully. Let's go back to our spaces and see. And we can see the changes. Okay, I would like to also add headers and footers to my pages. Again, go to the settings. Under the look and feel options, we have header and footer. Here in the header, I would like to add management list. And in the footer, I would to add 2022 www.managementbliss.com and save it. Now I'm going back to my space. Let's try looking at the page already created. And we can see the header as well as the footer has been added to our page. Let me create a new one. And publish it. The header and the footer has been added to the new page as well. Okay, I think I missed showing you that our fav icon has also changed. So we can see that our fav icon was updated. Similarly, the fav icon was updated here as well. Now up next, we will see how to move pages. Okay, so I will go to another space. We created a document training for Betty over here. Now I would like to move it to another space. To move your pages to another spaces, just click on this three dots icon. It will open a drop down and here select the move option. And now I can select the space. Okay, so here also it will ask me where do you want to have this page okay so i would like to have it under bliss team space so i will click this button move and now as we can see that we have been moved to another space that is bliss team space and the training for betty document has been moved here now let's see how to search for relevant content for that i will again move back to our home page and there's a shortcut provided by confluence that is we can use slash key to go to the search bar directly and here if i want i can search for any document let's say i want to search for release notes 1.2 and as soon as i type release it will show me different options okay i select this one now it is showing me the relevant document which i wanted apart from that confluence also provides us with advanced searching to do advanced searching go to the search bar here we can find the advanced search option okay click it and here it's showing me another search bar again from here also i can search for my documents okay i say release and it's showing me which are related to release okay now here i can also filter my searches through various parameters for example i would like to filter by space i will select this plus team space and filtering is another very powerful feature because when we have lots and lots of documents then this filtering helps us to do easy searches for example i would like to specify the type as well it's a page so i don't want other things like blog posts or attachments i just want the page to be searched therefore in the type i have selected pages now do a search it has narrowed down my search to pages and within this particular space which i have selected let us see how to search by labels because in a lot of documents we generally provide labels for categorizing so if we want to search using labels we can do it through these filters to search documents categorized by labels go to this filter option labels and here just type in your label for example i just want to get the documents which have module doc label associated with them let's search and yes i can see these two documents available for example i have i want to search through label test so it is showing me that there is one document only which has a label test. So this is one of the very powerful features provided by Confluence for easy searching. With that, let us now see how to create a blog post. I will go to the home and select my space. 
Now, before we create a blog post, let us see what blog posts are. Blog posts are easy ways to share announcements or status reports or any other information which you want to publish periodically. Difference between pages and a blog post is that pages should be pages are generally created when we want some information to be evolved over time but blog posts are generally created when we want to share information that is a one time communication now let's go ahead and create a blog post on the left hand side we have an option blog clicking on the plus icon here which says create a blog I will click it. It will give me an option to create a blog post. Let's say I want to share print closure report. So I will create one here for a sprint that lasts from 31st Jan to 11th Feb. Blog posts can be equally attractive as your pages are. As again here we have the possibility of adding videos, pictures, icons, statuses, tables everything now we can also schedule publish let's say on the 12th feb i want to publish this information i can do that by clicking on this three dots more actions here schedule publish and it will ask me for a date i will say that i want to publish it on 14th let's say i want to publish it on 14th and we can specify the time let me leave it at 9 am only and schedule it so the information will be published on 14th feb at 9 am and there won't be any notifications prior to that it's showing us that the publishing has been scheduled well we got a chance to know how to do a lot of things in confluence let's also see how to import some documents i'll go back to the home page of my space click on this more actions here advanced details and here you can import your word document select the file okay open and it's showing that it's uploading and quickly it is done now click the next button it will ask you where to import so i would like to import it as a new page in my current space okay and other information we can specify for example it says that rename imported page if the page already exists apart from that you can replace the existing page with imported pages of the same title or you can remove the existing pages as well with the same title as the imported pages okay so i don't want to split anything by heading i will just go ahead and import it and document is imported let's see now i can see my document which has been imported and here within the pages also i can find this document now let's see how to delete a page as well again for deleting click on the three dots icon more actions okay delete and it gives you a notification before deleting it that if you don't want to send it to trash you can archive this page as well but for now i would like to delete it so just go ahead and delete and the page which i imported recently has been deleted now Let us now move on to a very important section of this tutorial that is integration of Jira with Confluence. It's really easy to link Jira with Confluence but the impact is much bigger. So let's get started. The subtopics which we will be covering are integrate Jira with Confluence, add a link from Confluence page to Jira project, add a link from Jira project to Confluence space. Add a chart from Jira on a Confluence page. Add bug list from Jira to Confluence page. And how to create Jira issues from your Confluence page. Well, to get started, click on the settings wheel on the top right side of the Confluence site. Here, on the left, we can see different options. Go ahead and click on the application links. First of all, we will have to add an application link. Okay, so I have my jira project link handy select it and add it over here click on create new link give it a name and for now i am leaving other things and i'll just click the continue button well we are using the cloud versions of both the softwares that is confluence and jira now since we have added the application link already let's go back to my spaces list team space and here 
select space settings here go to the integrations section and click on the application links now click on this plus icon and here it will give us the application link which we already added as part of global settings so just click on it give it a key name i'm giving it as dmapj give it a name so i'm giving it dmap prod and then click on this create button and now this application link has been added to our space links now we can go ahead and add shortcuts to both confluence and jira so that we can have a to and fro navigation between both the applications fluently okay now on the left hand side under space shortcuts there is an add shortcut option just click on this plus icon here again we need to provide the link of the page we want to open so i am going to my project in jira and i want to open the board from confluence so i am selecting this link of the board give it a name so i am giving it as dmap board add shortcut and then save it so now our shortcut has also been added similarly we can go to jira and check how we can add shortcut for confluence on jira software so again on the left hand side we have an option of add shortcut and here we have different options what we want to add to the project since we are looking for a shortcut so we'll select a shortcut click on this add button provide the confluence link here if you want to provide the home page of your space then go to the home page of your space simply get the link from here go to the page where you are trying to add the shortcut and provide a name okay i just want to give it the name save as my space name so i am giving bliss team space over here again click on this add button and quickly we are done with the shortcut we can see that shortcut for bliss team space has already been created click on it and yes we are on the home page of our bliss team space so far so good now let's move forward in this tutorial and create a page where i would like to have a list of bugs from my dmap project so again just click on create page option and as a title i will say dmap bug list now to create a list of bugs to copy the list of bugs from jira we will need a macro so i will go to this plus icon drop down again click on it and here we have jira get it now from here now this search bar provides us with various options so we can pass the issue keys we can pass the search urls we can write down the query which can exactly get us what we want or we can simply add any filter which is already created and which has the proper rights to be accessed outside so we have all these possibilities over here as of now i will stick to writing the jql over here so my project name is dmap and i want issue type equals to bug so just click on this search yeah we can also provide some other parameters here all depends on what query you are using for example as of now i'll keep it same because all my bugs are in open status now this is another option where you can specify what exactly you want to show on your page that is you just want to show total issue count or you want to show it in the form of table how many maximum issues you want and what all columns you would like to display suppose you don't want to show the resolution status or assign a name just just uh, click on this cross link and they will be gone so now let's keep it as it is and click on this insert button dmap bug list has been very well added over here i would like to change the formatting of this and it looks pretty nice now if i want i can publish this information so i'll publish it to create the first version of it dmap bug list page has been created now with the bugs from jira now this was adding few issues to a page there is another possibility where we can also add charts from jira so you can create another page or or let's just edit this page as of now 
again a macros will be needed here select on jira charts simple here i would like to show you how to get a pie chart here so i have selected pie chart again provide your query or filter which has already been created for you in your in your jira project okay so as of now i would like to have only this because i would like to have all the issues available to me so if i leave my query like this i will have this type of pie chart but i don't want it like that i want some categorization on this pie chart based on the issue type that is i want to know how many bugs are pending and and how many stories are there so again just click on this display option and select chart by issue type because i am categorizing it based on the issues but let's say if you want to categorize it based on status for example you want to know how many issues are in pending status how many have been resolved then you can refine your query accordingly and here you can select status so it all depends on what information you want to display okay so i am selecting issue type and i am moving ahead and i am clicking this insert icon as we can see such a pie chart will be displayed on our page okay click on insert and i have my pie chart on the on the page now it's no more just a dmac bug list page so let's change it change the title of it and make it dmap issue list publish it a new version of this page will be there for you and as i showed you in the previous version one can go and check the page history of the page to see what all changes have been made now one more thing i would like to show you before wrapping up this section of the tutorial that is let's create an issue directly from confluence which will be added to your jira project so i'm editing my page and macros is doing a lot of things over here so i am again going to the macros icon and click it and get jira macros here we have an option to create new issue just go ahead and click it select the project where you want to create an issue okay specify the type i am specifying it as a story give it a summary differentiate this issue from other issues i am giving it a name dummy issue created from confluence similar description i'm adding and click on this insert button now after refreshing my page i can see that the story count has been updated from 5 to 6 to verify if our issue has been added properly we i'll go back to my jira and here in the backlog let's see yes the issue has been created successfully let's go back to our bliss team space we saw a lot of things we also saw how to delete a page but once the page has been deleted uh, there are sometimes where one would like to know who deleted the page and things like that for such an auditing confluence also provides an audit log feature where audit logs will help you to know what all changes have happened in the past so for viewing the audit log i will click on the settings wheel on the top right of the confluence site again go to the left menu and select audit log under administration know that if you are an admin only then you can make these changes or view such an information since we are using the confluence free version this option is not available for us but for the demonstration purposes i will just upgrade it so it says that we have a trial for a few days okay start the trial we are done now refresh it and after refreshing we have got all the audit logs available to us which we can view and find out whatever information we need So that was all in this tutorial. If you like the video, please press the like button. Please share it more and more. Subscribe the channel for more such videos. Bye for now and thank you for watching.